Hello everybody, this is Leslie with Black Dog Vintage and I am back with another amazing haul. This is a small haul, um, but this is actually just everything that just came in the mail today. Um, this is a couple small auction wins, plus uh, two things I got in a, a win, I guess an auction win from uh, Jen's Gems and Vintage Finds, who is here on YouTube. Please go check out her channel. I will link it down in the comments below. She is awesome, and if you haven't already subscribed to her channel, please go out and subscribe because she is awesome. And uh, she has all kinds of amazing things, but I did win these two items from her, and we'll talk a little bit more about them later. Um, but uh, I just got all of these things just today in the mail, and I am super excited to be bringing them to you. And uh, we'll talk about all of these today. Uh, so if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It is always free to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. I do go live with a vintage live every Wednesday at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. And uh, I might do a pop-up here and there also. So definitely hit that bell for notifications and you will be alerted to when I do that. Uh, and please uh, don't forget, if you like my videos as well, feel free to share. Uh, share to all your vintage jewelry loving friends. Um, so uh, yeah, so yeah, I've been on kind of a buying kick and uh, really trying to find uh, some amazing pieces to bring to you for the Vintage Lives. And uh, if you are a channel member, you also get the opportunity to buy a pre-sale. Uh, so that is something that you can always do if you are a channel member. And memberships just start at $2.99 a month. So that is always an option. Uh, but let's go through some of these pieces. These are amazing. I'm super excited to get these. And uh, I think I'm going to be getting great mail from <laughs> for the next like week or so. Uh, and if I keep buying the way that I'm doing, uh, it's just going to keep going. <laughs> so uh, let's just get into this. Um, I guess I'll just, I don't know, maybe I'll just keep it, keep it back here. Um, okay, so the first item, come on. And let's move these lights a little bit closer. All right, and uh, make sure that we're out as bright as possible. Uh, there we go, okay. So this here, this is just a simple little brooch. This is called the seaweed brooch. This is by a maker called Tortolani. Uh, Tortolani is, they're great. Um, big in the 60s, I believe, is when they were, they kind of had their heyday. Um, out on eBay, I have an amazing set. It's their uh, Zodiac set. I have the uh, necklace and the bracelet, and it is big, huge, chunky, and wonderful. But this is a very simple piece, um, and it's great. It's just in a brushed silver tone metal, and very simple, but very beautiful. And Tortolani is great. Definitely something that you uh, would want to keep an eye on. I think that Tortolani is just one of those uh, makers that is just going to increase in value. It's kind of a hidden gem right now. So definitely keep an eye out for Tortolani pieces. Beautiful. This is just a simple piece, but beautiful. If you get out, uh, check out my eBay link and check out the Tortolani set that I have on there. Um, this here, beautiful enameled piece. This is probably early 1900s. Um, this is a... Um, well, it's a little bit of a wonky clasp here, but it's um, it was a C clasp. It's a little bent, um, and I do need to work on the pin back here, but um, this is definitely an early, early, probably 1900s piece. Um, beautiful enameling. It, it definitely shows signs of wear, but for being over 100 years old, I mean, what do you expect, right? <laughs> uh, but this is this is a great little piece. I really do, really do like this one. I'm trying to get a little better light here. Uh, maybe that's a little bit better. Yeah, I think so. Um, so yeah, that's a really pretty piece. I like that one. Okay, next, um, these are some of the more simple ones. That's a really pretty little, um, I would say that's an angel skin coral. That's probably... Yeah, it's probably angel skin. It, it, it could be a dyed piece, but I don't think so because we've got some 
we've got some of that pinkness going towards the back. So I think it is angel skin. Um, these are, these were popular back in like the 1970s. You'll see a lot of the jade or the nephrite pieces like this as well. But that's just a cute little, little branch piece, um, little, or a little leaf piece. Um, this is just a nice little celluloid flower. Um, this is an earlier piece as well. Um, we've got a C clasp. And actually, this looks like it could be carved bone. And uh, we've got a C clasp and a regular hinge. This puts it probably 1920s, maybe. Very, very pretty little flower, little flower set. Very cute, very cute little piece. Um, this piece here is, just came part of the flower lot. It's just like a plastic raspberry. This one is a newer piece, um, but it's cute. It's just a, it's a nice little piece. I don't think that this is um, any specific maker, and I really don't think this is that old. But it's kind of a fun piece. I like the raspberry. I love raspberries. I actually have several raspberry bushes in my backyard. Fun fact. Uh, cute little tulip enamel uh, uh, brooch. We've, I like the color of those, the little, kind of a coral color. Little gold tone highlights on that. Fun. Not overly old, but it's fun. I When I was trying to research this one, there was almost this exact one. It came up as Anne Klein, but this one's not marked. So I don't know. I don't know if this is same maker as Anne Klein or, but it is a pretty piece. Um, okay, now we get into some older pieces, uh, more or and marked, I guess. Okay, this one is super, super, super cool. Um, this one is made by. Oh, I wrote this down. Hold on. Uh, so I didn't have to look at it. It is made by Balron. So you can see it in the back here. It is Balron back there. It is a 1 20th, uh, what is it, 14 karat, 12 karat gold fill piece. Now, what's interesting about this, um, I have a few green pieces in here and I wanted to shoot them with a bl uh, black light just to see if any of these were uranium glass. Um, <laughs> And what's funny is that this has beautiful blue crystals in here. But when I shot it with uranium glass, these glowed, these lit up very well. Let me see if I can make it glow a little bit better. There we go, a little bit better. But these lit up like crazy. It was absolutely nuts. I couldn't even believe it. There we go, that's even better. Ooh. That's even better. Look at that. Look at how those light. And I would not have expected that light, light blue um, to, that light, light blue to um, glow that bright, bright green. But alas, it did. And that's just a really, really cool little brooch. So, but that is 120th. Um, 12 karat gold fill. Kind of a crazy one. Okay, this is gorgeous. Look at that. This is um, Austrian. And it has the little V shape uh, uh, pin back. That is very typical with Austrian pieces. Um, this looks like it has zero wear to it whatsoever. It has a beautiful like moon glow glass cabochon in the center. These are Givre glass right here. Look, it's got the little white stripe, but they're faceted, which is really kind of cool. Usually you see those in cabochons. And beautiful milk glass Nevet cabochons. And then you have this really pretty amber glass uh, Nevets. Really, really pretty, interesting, unusual brooch. Um, I really do like this one. This is really quite pretty and kind of fun. So that one I thought was a really nice piece. Um, look at that. This reminds me of like a little comet. 
And the crystals in this are just so, so pretty. Isn't that great? Love that. Love this one. And these are all riveted. These are all prong set stones. Can't go wrong with this one. Very nice refraction on this. It's actually almost hard to see just how pretty the, these stones are, but they are gorgeous. They really, really are. Um, all right. Ooh, butterfingers. Okay, this one's really pretty. It's very, a, it's a simple brooch. The colors are really gorgeous though. Very, very pretty. I love this blue actually. I think I know a couple of people who might just love this blue as well that shock with me a lot. <laughs> um, but this one here is just so pretty. It's very simple and just, you know, sometimes simple is best, you know, understated is best. That is just, that's just a really nice piece. And look at the facets. The facets are just really pretty. I like this one. I like that one a lot. Then of course, enamel daisies. Can't go wrong with those, especially in the summer. Just a fun little piece. Um, very, very nicely um, preserved. Like there's really no, if, there's really not even any flea bites. I mean, barely, barely. I, I mean, you can maybe see a couple on the edges, but barely, it just looks so good. Um, and then here is a really nice bezel set necklace. There is no, there is no um, marks on this, but really pretty crystals on this. I mean, you can see really nice refraction on these. Um, let's see if I can get, there we go, a little bit. Give it a little bit of twist. There we go. Look at that, really nice refraction on that clear. If you can see the rainbow in there, really quite pretty. The green, the red, everything's really nice. And this has a barrel clasp. So not, you know, I don't know everybody that did these, um, but they are definitely crystal. They're a leaded crystal. They're very nice, probably Swarovski. I mean, 95% of all of these crystals are Swarovski. Um, and this one is 30 inches long. So it's gorgeous. It really is, it's gorgeous. All right, next piece. So this is a dress clip. This is a very old, whoosh, very old dress clip. Beautiful rainbow dress clip. That is the back of it. And I open it up. That is what it looks like in the back. Beautiful open back crystals. Look at those. Probably check. I'm going to guess this is probably check. This has a very, um, a back very much from what I have studied, reminiscent of a check glass, um, how check glass has been set, this kind of a heavier setting. Um, and I have another piece that I believe is check as well. But this is absolutely gorgeous. This looks like Czech glass. It's just, look at that. It is gorgeous. Beautiful dress clip. I love this kind of fruit salad looking um, colors. I am literally in love with this piece and the little leaves. This is, this is a fruit salad piece right here. And gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, this is a gorgeous west german brooch so this one is it says uh west germany on the bottom or on the little um cartouche there it just says i think it just says w germany on there and then you have a beautiful um a beautiful stone here and then the rhinestones and the filigree just a very simple very beautiful piece and uh, you can't really go wrong with this one either. The colors are very fall-like, very warm. It, this is a very, very pretty piece. Very pretty. And uh, yeah, I, this, is a, this is a nice one. I like this one. I like this one a lot. All right. 
This is a really pretty one too. This green wreath is very nice with the navets. It's just great. And then you hit this, hit this with the light and then you've got the lighter green ones. The round green ones are uranium glass. So we'll turn that off and you can see it much better. There we go. So your light or your round green ones are uranium glass on this one. So this is a really cool piece with some uranium glass. I know some of you guys like to, to collect uranium glass. So that is, this is a good one for, I wish it all lit up, but it does not. But this is a neat one, very neat piece. And uh, that is the back of it. Just a very, very, very interesting, unique piece. Um, and it is unsigned. Uh, this is a fun piece. Look at this. Moon Glow Lucite. It is on a chain, which is so cool. Oops, I just pull it apart. Um, and then you've got a little box class with the Lucite. This is not marked, I don't think. Yeah, not marked. But the it being on, oh, it's marked Japan. Sorry, it is marked. It's marked Japan. And... There we go. Um, but the fact that it's on this chain just it, it just means quality right there. But this bubblegum pink is just fantastic. And it is uh, 16 inches long. So just a great length too. So beautiful, beautiful lucite, pink lucite, bubblegum pink lucite in that moon glow. Love, love, love this necklace. I just absolutely love this necklace. So fun, so fun. So couldn't couldn't resist that one. Um, okay, look at this brooch right here. Look at that Rivoli. Oh my gosh, you could just stare at that for days and days and days and days. And look at the other stones. It's, it's, this just complements because you've got that little bit of like autumn, you know, these are all in your browns, right? And then this has that autumn, like the brown and the green, and then you've got that flash of pink and purple. So it just ties in all of those autumn colors in there. This is the back right here. Um, possibly check, I don't know. This could also be possibly newer. Um, so I'm really kind of trying to study this one a little bit more. Um, maybe by the time of the live, um, I might have some more answers on exactly when this one might be made. But I do think, I mean, I do know that it's older, but I'm thinking probably like 1960s. I'm assuming 1960s, but that Rivoli, oh my God, I just wanna, I just, I, this is just yummy. It's yummy, very yummy brooch. Gorgeous, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Um, okay, this is probably my favorite one though, right here, this is my favorite. Believe it or not, that is not uranium glass. I really thought it would be, but it is not. <laughs> It's not, but look at all of those stones. Look at the faceting. Look how deep, 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 deep those go. The faceting in these are just insane. And there's a color variation in these nevettes that just kind of give it, I don't know, just a little bit more oomph. And just look at that light up. This is an intense brooch. Now this is Czechoslovakian. This is Czechoslovakian. So Czechoslovakian, from what I have studied, has this matte back that is gold like this. And now I may be wrong in some cases, it may not always be like this, but this one I am I would say I am 95% sure that this is Czechoslovakian. And please, you know, feel free if you think something different, please let me know in the comments. I mean, I would love to hear other people's opinions 
or what else you might think it is. Um, this is unsigned, um, but this is absolutely gorgeous. And you know, I'm I'm a big one to say things do not need to be signed. Things do not need to be signed. I don't feel that there should always be this huge push to find out who made what. I feel that maybe we should push to find out when something was made, um, but I don't feel that there always should be a push on who made something. Because, you know, I mean, maybe attribute it to a area or a, um, you know, if something was is American or Czechoslovakian or Austrian or um, French or something like that. But I don't think we need to know, is this an unsigned Weiss or is this an unsigned, you know, this or that, you know, I mean, some of them, okay, Juliana, but I just don't think we always need to worry about if this is an unsigned something because so many things are unsigned and they're still beautiful and they're still valuable. Like this one. This is also unsigned. And this is also so gorgeous. Look at that. It is amazing. That is the back. That is the back of it. And it's a little crooked right there. And is this marked? No, I don't think this one's marked. I just saw that it might look like it's got a little marking on there, but I don't think, no, it doesn't. That's not marked. But isn't that just absolutely fabulous? It's fabulous. Now, with this particular one, I am still researching this one. Now, I want to say that this looks like it is German or a Czechoslovakian or something. But these stones are not prong set. So these are what I would consider bead set. Um, they are, they look like they have little prongs, but they're really not technically prong set. Like you can pop those little suckers out really easily. Um, so I, you know, when I saw it, I immediately thought, oh, that does, like this, this middle one is prong set. But what I immediately thought this was probably Czech or, or German. But once I got it, I'm like, I don't know. So I'm doing a little more research. Um, I, I feel like this could be a newer piece, personally. I feel like that could be newer. But still doing research. Jury's still out on that one. Um, okay, this piece. Look at that. Look at that. This one's gorgeous. Okay, so this is a gold fill piece. Let's see if I can get this to... There we go. So it is 1 20th 12 karat gold fill. This is made by a company called Antoinette. Antoinette is uh, a little more rare to find. Antoinette is a pretty highly desirable. Their pieces um, are not at, they're a little bit more fashionable than a lot of these other, you know, gold fill companies like, um, uh, oh, what was this one? Bell Ron or whatever this one was. I forgot already. Um, or, um, uh, oh, even Dell, uh, uh, Van Dell or some of the other ones. This one, Antoinette had a lot more bling to it, a lot more glitz, a lot more glamour. Um, but they used a gold fill and like this one, you can definitely see it's got like the, the rhinestones that are hanging. I love the pink. Look at the shape of those rhinestones, the pink there. It is so pretty. And, um, when you find the Antoinettes, you're going to see that they're very different than a lot of the other ones that you'll, a lot of the other gold fill pieces that you'll find. This one can also be used as a necklace or as a pendant. Um, love, love, love this one. This one's gorgeous. Um, so this one's in the Antoinette. And so I don't, I, this is probably only the second Antoinette I've ever found, to be honest. Probably only a second. Um, this is another really pretty one. 
So this one, I love the little moon glow piece in the center, super cute. This is unsigned. So what I felt was interesting is when I was doing research on this piece, all of the ones that I found out that looked exactly like this, um, they might've had different centers. Some had rhinestones, some had um, other colors, some had faceted pieces in the center. They were all coral. They all had the same leaves, all had the same inner leaves. They were all coral. This is unsigned. This could be an unsigned coral, early coral. Um, but it could be unsigned coral. So I thought that was interesting. This is brass, a really pretty little black brass flower um, with a, a little moon glow bead on the inside. And uh, I don't, I mean, quite possibly it is a replacement because uh, it does look like it's glued in, but not sure. Came in, a, came in the lot, uh, but I thought it was, I think that one's pretty. Um, okay, this bracelet, actually, this bracelet and this earrings actually came in my estate lot from last week, um, but it, uh, I had to actually uh, replace a rhinestone on here. So, this is beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful, deep amethyst. Look at those huge stones. Uh, unsigned. Uh, yeah, unsigned. Unsigned beautifulness. No safety on there, but that's okay. Um, and this one measures seven inches. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Love that amethyst. And then this is another pair where the uh, person I bought it from, she did have the earrings converted to posts, where she actually did weld in the, um, or solder in the posts. Um, but these earrings are really pretty, aren't they? Gosh, those are pretty. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, here is a pair of celluloid earrings. They have actually turned kind of like that deeper kind of uh, buttery yellow. They are clips. Very, very, very pretty celluloid earrings. I love the flowers. Lots of detail in these too. And nice and light. <coughs> I'm gonna do the two pieces I got from Jen and then my mystery piece that I might need some help on. All right, so this is, <coughs> excuse me, my allergies. Um, I've been complaining about them for like a week. Okay, so this is a Czech filigree brooch. Um, this cool little ball moves and this is called a gumball brooch from what my research tells me this is a gumball brooch that's what they call them and uh this is a brass filigree this does have a c clasp it's kind of cool and uh how fun is this how fun is this so it's a little control bubble little glass ball and it uh it just moves in that flower and it is the coolest. And this is a Czechoslovakian piece. And it is just amazing. So this came from Jen's Gems and Vintage Finds. So again, I'm gonna link her in the comments. Go check out her page. She does lives on Mondays. Um, but de definitely, you know, when you uh, click on her page and you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell for notifications just in case it ever changes. Um, and then this piece too, um, I love this one. Now this one I'm not 100% sure of. German potentially, I'm not positive. Um, it could be, it's got like this mother of, it's like a glass, like an opaly glass, mother of pearly kind of glass that's indented here and then this this capuchon here that's like a moon glow and that is i think that's i think that's glass could be actually it could be uh, a lucite but i'm not sure if let me check it let me check it really quick 
might be a loose one. The side ones are glass. That could be a lucite, but or some kind of a plastic. But I don't know. It's so unique and interesting and just so fun. I just, I had to pick it up. So um, these might be available. They might not. I don't know. I might keep these for my own collection. But they, you know, if somebody really is interested, you know, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I bought them from another person that I just absolutely adore so who knows but I had to sh share them and I have to shout her out her channel because she has beautiful pieces um okay I need help with this piece I'm gonna shove this off camera for now and uh bring out all my pretties here because these are so gorgeous all right this piece all right this piece is definitely Austro-Hungarian. It could, I mean, or Czech. Uh, it's early. Unfortunately, somebody glued a pin back on there. It, I think it was supposed to be a buckle or was supposed to hang on a pocket or a necklace or something. Um, but somebody decided to ruin it, at, well, in my estimation, and put a pin back on there, which really, really, really is, to me, just tragedy because this piece is honestly just so gorgeous. So we have like these little fans that are enameled in these corners. These little... I don't know, these little swishes that are, that have the little enameling on like the trumpets, I guess. These are glass cabochons. And then that's a glass cabochon that's made to look like lapis. These greens are glass cabochons. Now, this almost reminds me of maybe a Niger or there's a few other artists that did very similar work very early on um, in that era. So I would love if we have any other experts um, that could be watching this video. And now I also took some photos and put them up on some um, jewelry boards that I that I'm uh, participate in and to see if I can have anybody else help me identify this piece. But I really feel like this is a very special piece and I would love to find out more information on it. Um, but this is, to me, this is absolutely just an incredible piece right here. So if anybody knows, let me know. But my favorite piece, this is by far, this is by far my favorite. So what's your favorite? Let me know. What's your favorite? Because that one's mine. But I want to hear what your favorite piece is. So, um, yeah, this one is just, oh, that pinks and that green. Oh, I love it. So let me know what your favorite piece is. Um, definitely thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Bring all these on camera so you can kind of glance at them again while we finish up. Um, but yeah, let me know what your favorite piece is. And uh, don't forget, come visit me. Come see me on my live. And I hope to see you there. And definitely let me know that you watch one of my videos when you come and see me. And uh, don't hesitate to request a piece. All right. Thank you guys so much. I'm so glad that you joined me. And I will see you on the next video or see you in the next live. Love you all. We'll see you later. Bye.